Hi! What if I told you that there was a soft, slug-like creature that could penetrate through your body, live inside almost every part of your body, possibly castrate you, and possibly change your sex, and even zombify? It sounds like a nightmare. It is, however, a real issue for some crab species, especially for the notorious European green crab, Carcinus minus. Meet the crab hacker barnacle, Saculina carcini, an endoparasite of crabs, where endoparasite means that it lives inside other animals. This terrifying arthropod has a fascinating lifestyle. It attaches to a young adult crab as a larva. Then it injects differentiated cells into crab's blood. Inside the crab, it develops a root-like system of filaments that extend into every part of crab's body except the heart and the gills. This part of the parasite is called the interna. And the job of the interna is to suck the nutrients from the crab. If the parasite attaches to a male crab, it castrates the crab and changes some of the sexual characteristics, making it look more like a female. For example, male's crab abdomen size changes as well as the shape. Meanwhile, the parasite develops a set of male and female sex organs that it keeps outside of the crab on the abdomen. This part of the parasite is called the externa. The externa is located where a crab's egg sac would typically be. It looks like a slug or a soft tumor on the crab and sized 13 to 18 millimeters, approximately size of a large blueberry. The size of the interna is difficult to approximate, but we can imagine what it would be like based on the pictures of infected crabs. Saculina also changes the crab's behavior. The crab does not mate and takes care of the parasite's externa as if it was its own egg sac. This change in the behavior makes the crab look zombified. There is even some evidence that the zombified crab sacrifices its safety and climbs on rocks when it's time to release the parasite's eggs. Saculina is found anywhere where its main host lives, the European green crab. The crabs, and so are the parasites, are found at depths 0 to 200 meters. The European green crabs are native to Europe and North Africa. However, they've been invading other parts of the world. This invasive crab fiercely competes with local crabs and negatively impacts shellfish fisheries. In the US alone, the crab causes about $44 million worth of damage per year. It's no wonder that humans looked at Saculina as the potential way to limit the invasive crab population. Scientists, however, doubtful that that would be a good idea mainly because the parasite has low host specificity and can infect crabs other than the European green crab. Saculina carcini is a very cool example of parasitism in the ocean, and I found it remarkable that an animal could develop adaptations to manipulate its host. Did you find it cool? Check out seascovery.org if you want to find out more about other cool ocean animals. Until next time!